I'm Mike Payne, uh, Master Gardener from Hamilton County, and we're going to be talking about uh, warm season, cool season grasses. Uh, you have two choices uh, when choosing a grass. You can choose the warm season or a cool season in our area because we're in a transition zone. Over here on my left, we have a Georgia grass, which is great during the heat of the summer, and this summer has been really, really good. We're on my uh, right hand side, we have a fescue, as you can see over on this side. It's got worn, it's a little bit tattered, and it really doesn't hold well under foot traffic when it's under stress. The zoysia grass, on the meantime, on, the, on my left hand side, holds up really, really well during this time of year. But in about four to six weeks, you're going to see it totally change because once you get into the cool season uh, time of the year, this grass will actually turn brown and may get a little stress. And also in this area, we'll get a little bit of winter kill over, you know, no matter which part of the state you're in. On the other hand, the fescue has good attributes. You can sow it by seed. It's really cheap to put in. However, in our soil conditions in and around the state, you're going to have varying degrees of success. And you have to have a deep soil base for this to actually work. So at that time, you want to look at which grass you want to pick because each one has different fertilization time. You can do very, very good with one, but you have to really pick out one and you can't have both in the yard. If you would like to have more information, uh, please contact us at www.mghc.org and get more information.